Hey, it's Dry Bear. October 10th is a big day for the first Ascendant because we're getting a bunch of new content, but one of the premier pieces of content is going to be Ultimate Freyna, an upgraded version of a Descendant in the game already. And since it's coming up, I'd like to do a couple builds for her, talk about her kit. We've been diving in on the stream on all of her functionalities and how everything works. So today I wanted to go through an absolute state of Freyna where she is right now. And I discovered a few things about how her dots work that are quite concerning for me and hopefully get completely reworked because they're just just majorly problematic. And we'll start with the primary issue that Freyna has right now, and that is there is no good logic or any logic at all around combining or stacking dots. Anytime you have a dot spreading class that focuses on putting lots of dots on enemies, spreading them around, affliction warlock, whatever it is you want to do, having this kind of implementation is actually abhorrent for the class and desperately needs to be reworked. Now, keep in mind that they did say in a previous interview that they will be reworking Freyna to make sure her dots are more viable, and hopefully this kind of mechanism gets revisited as they go into that rework overall. And the core issue is that currently, when there is a stack of poison on an enemy, the debuff that does toxic damage in the first Ascendant, if a new version or new stack of poison tries to get applied to that target, it will just completely fail. There will be no update in duration. It won't refresh. It won't add a stack. It won't replace anything that's there it won't even add its damage to it it will just completely fail to apply poison and this is very bad for a dot focused character for a few reasons not only are there multiple ways inside of Freyna's kit where she can apply a debuff of poison but also those debuffs in many cases will have different skill power scaling on them you can use your puddles from your one or your three putrid venom or venom trauma to apply poison those will sometimes have different skill power scaling on them when the poison gets applied. You can very easily see that by just going to some of these. But also on top of that, you have poisons that come from your defensive ability when you get hit while it's active. You have poisons that get applied not only from the toxic puddle on the ground or the toxic swamp on the ground, but you also have poison that gets applied by her unique poison debuff, Room Zero Trauma. And on top of that, you have even in better versions of poison that come from her unique ability, her unique weapon, Venom Baptism. You can see at the bottom here, when Without modification, this has a poison scaler of 471.8%. The normal poison that she applies is 60.3. So if we were to apply a stack of poison from say room zero trauma, you can see poison spreading here. And then we try to apply it with our ultimate, it's going to fail. The dot damage is not gonna update. The poison stack is not gonna get removed. It will not be improved at all. So we have our unique weapon, which when it applies a massively bigger uh, dot from the poison that will completely fail and go to the wayside. And I think that kind of blocker where the poison debuffs are actually competing and butting heads with each other all the time means that Freyna is in a very serious issue situation where she needs to be fixed and reworked so those actually can spread from target to target properly. Now there's a couple ways to solve this problem and it depends on what the developers want to do. You can find this kind of situation solved in many styles of RPG games, elemental games, turn-based games, tactic games, gotcha games. It doesn't matter. This kind of concept has been solved many, many times in their games, and they have a couple options on how they they could solve it. The first option is just to have a dynamic calculator on how much poison is on the target. So what they could do is you have a puddle and poison. It will constantly be as a sliding window, calculating how much poison damage the target is taking every single second. And as you add more poison to it, it keeps going up or goes down as things fail or go off. And you have this dynamic scaler of how how poisoned is this target? The other option, which is a very common solution for most games, is just to allow for multiple stacks of poison. This one has a readability and clarity issue with it because, again, if you have a poison that is much weaker, like say you have a poison that applies at 60% skill power, and you have a poison that applies at 471% skill power, your ultimate version is going to be a much more heavy hitting poison effect. And if you do poison stack, so if they did stacks like say you could poison and then poison and then poison you would have like multiple stacks of that poison 
The weird part about this is that if you have one that's ticking for 600k a second and one that's ticking for a thousand a second and you stack those together, I think that becomes very confusing. Now, thanks to our extensive weapon testing where we tested every single weapon in the game, they already actually have a solution for this one, which is probably going to be the easiest one for them to implement in this specific situation. So what you have is Executor. This is Exhibit A. This is a solution that they already have function in the game that I don't know why they didn't just apply to Freyna and any other dot class in the game. So the way Executor works, it is a electric shotgun that applies a special, unique, amped version of Electrocution. Electrocution is just the damage over time version of electric damage. It is a debuff that gets applied to the target. Anything that deals electric damage will apply an electric extra electrocution debuff. So I have electric enhancement on this weapon. If I shoot long enough, it will apply an electrocution. It'll stack that electrocution on them. And this is just because I'm doing electric damage. Anything that applies the electric damage over time will apply an electrocution to the target with enough hits. And so you have that damage there. And obviously it's based on the source that is causing the electrocution. And so you can have various amounts of electrocution. And this actually has the exact same problem that Freyna has, but because they created a unique ability for the Executor specifically, they have a special electrocution on the enemy. So when you get to five stacks of Executor's Exaltation, you will then on your next hit apply a massive electrocution dot buff. This one scales up with firearm damage. It gives you a big bonus. It is a huge dot of electrocution, which is kind of analogous to Freyna, right? It's like her normal poison versus the poison from her ultimate. However, I've tested this a bunch on the Executor, and what happens is if the target already has electrocution on them from a different source, and then you go to apply the big massive electrocution from this weapon, they will actually just be separate. You will get two debuff icons of electrocution on the target. One that is the normal, and one that is the amplified version. They can coincide, they both tick at the same time, and they both can do their damage. That doesn't happen for Freyna right now. So she can go and she can throw all of her abilities, and she can go and start spreading poison around, but again, as long as there's one poison on the target, that is the only poison the target will have, and this is a huge, huge problem. Which, by the way, applies to things like Contagion, where when you kill a target that has your unique debuff, Room Zero Trauma, it will try to spread poison, but if there's already poison on every target, the Contagion effect will be completely nullified. It will actually do nothing because it can't replace the poison stacks that are already on the target. Same thing goes for Fallen Hope, which is the Freyna main weapon. This will allow you to spread poison to targets with an explosion. Again, if they already have poison on them, they will not be able to gain a new stack of poison. And this is rough because if you're applying a weak poison to targets and then you try to apply a stronger poison, it will fail. Now, it doesn't mean the contagion doesn't have uses. And I know there's a lot of old, like Freyna mains out there that have tried all of these modules. And I'm not trying to say there's specific builds that don't work here. We'll go from this video, like once we've done some discovery on Freyna into specific Freyna builds that we can utilize. But in general, there's going to be some, some, some thinking and planning you'll have to use around how you manage your poison effects because you when you stack them you're going to be losing a lot of efficiency because those poison stacks are not going to work together at all as soon as you apply poison you may as well just use your weapon or use some other form of damage because you have damage there now it is important to say that there are skill scaling so the puddles themselves will deal extra damage so room zero trauma the puddle effects will have ticking skill based damage on top of targets as well and of course your poison effects will work and of course your unique weapon has its own direct damage on top of it as well. And right now I would say the strongest build for Freyna is revolving around her unique weapon because it has the by far the best scaling in her entire kit. But just doing like a, a deep dive into Freyna and looking at her abilities here, based on concept alone, her best module by far is Neurotoxin Synthesis. And this is because it removes Room Zero Trauma's poison effect, which as we've already discussed, means that she can spread one kind of poison and spread Room Zero Trauma with Without them stepping on each other's toes, which gives you a very nice way to maximize the efficacy of your poison effects. But you can imagine that if there is a buff or a rework coming for Freyna on October 10th that allows her to stack up poison effects so they don't fight with each other all the time, they will always do the poison damage that she has, that singular change alone is already going to be a massive change for Freyna as a character because it will allow her to maximize the dot damage that she has. Next, there's another issue with her current kit as it stands and that is around her defensive ability, defense mechanism. And this one is actually quite good. At base, it gives you a 25% increase of defense and allows you to apply poison to targets that attack you. And there is even a module that allows you to spread 
add that defense to other teammates. However, there is a kind of a, a flaw in the way this is developed in that the defense amount that gets increased with this specifically is off of flat defense only. No added defense, no buffed defense, and no percentage increased defense will get affected by this. This will only scale off Freyna's or your teammates if you have the module their base defense plus whatever flat defense they may have with any modules if you run defense on a module that will be applied but if there's any percentage increase like if you run with like increased defense or spear and shield iron defense that will not scale with her defensive mechanism another bizarre choice in the development of this character specifically is if I take neurotoxin off and I save you can see that the default for defense mechanism is 25% defense 35% imbue rate. You would think that if you were to use toxic stimulation, which allows you to apply your plague body armor to all nearby allies, which is more of a synergy group based style play, that there would be some kind of modifier that goes to your ability here. However, it doesn't really make a major change to your uh, your plague body armor. And for some reason, even when you run neurotoxin synthesis, you apply this to your ability, it increases the defense amount by 50% instead of the base default amount so for some reason with neurotoxin which isn't even focused on the armor it's you know, without it it's 25 percent with neurotoxin it jumps up to 50 percent again your flat defense value not buffed defense value and you can get a little bit more with your toxin stimulation but not like it's five percent more defense i feel like if it was going to be the module that focuses on giving your plague body armor to all allies wouldn't this one be the bigger amount of defense rather than the one that you're already using for a room zero trauma style build that sort of thing so i think there just needs to be some design and some thought process going into how she's supposed to be used and some weirdness on of that now again you can run like flat defense on all your modules and allow that to scale up your defense value to a decent amount but again it means that you're not going to be running with increased defense or you know iron defense spear and shield to try and scale that up and the other problem that was directly mentioned in the interview that we got from the director for the first descendant is around the idea of being in a burst meta because right now you can run ultimate bunny or you can run Haley, and you can burst down single target or burst down aoe and there's not really any downside for doing so you can just clear everything so if you're trying to run a damage over time class but all the mobs around you are dead instantly there is no reason for you to run a damage over time class and this is something that they they talked about and they want to rework and and create room for characters like blair or like freyna that do damage over time as part of their ability and they said they are going to be reworking Freyna which hopefully that rework lines up with the ultimate Freyna release on October 10th but I actually didn't realize how messed up Freyna was fundamentally and mechanically because after going through and looking at all of her abilities and how she functions I really really need that specific poison stacking effect to be fixed because I don't think there's any reason why a dot spreading de damage over time style class doesn't have dots that congeal and add to each other or stack on top of each other when they just block each other completely to me that's unforgivable that doesn't that makes the whole function of the kit just not make any sense to me but that's where i'm at with freyna we'll be doing some freyna builds and walking through some of her abilities and functions uh going forward but i just wanted to give a state of freyna so we can talk about what she's about what she looks like what these functions are and just kind of give a a summary of what our testing has done initially before we get into specific builds if you found value in today's video leave a like down below leave a comment for the algorithm to help this video get seen by more people and don't forget to check out my other channels for other content and other stuff and other things